Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paw Paw Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, today, what I did was I came out here. I wanted to look things over, which I do on a routine basis. And see how my little pawpaw trees are doing. This is one right here that I grafted last year. It took on some uh, frost issues earlier in this year. And what grew, uh, growth was trying to come out got burned off, and then it came back. Uh, we have a couple little buds right here that are struggling. There's a scale. Well, most of you that has been following uh, what it is that I do, uh, you've seen that I do a lot of work with the uh, root suckers. And while I got this off, I'm going to look things over. Let's see how everything is really looking. This right here was a root sucker that I had grafted last year. And one of the things that I've talked about whenever you're grafting, top working especially, is you want to make sure that nothing from the root stock is growing. And in walking around checking things out, I did notice something. Now this right here was a grafted root sucker uh, that I did eh, in March of last year. Matter of fact, March 28th. It's on the tag. And while I got the fence off, let's go ahead and just clean up around here a little bit. Why? Because I don't use herbicides. Herbicides will hurt the trees. And a lot of times you can go on to an orchard and look things over and you can see where somebody may be using herbicides and you can see it in the trees. Now one of the things that I did talk about in the past and I've shared with you a number of times is growth. And that's taking on pretty good growth. Uh, you don't want nothing growing from the root stock. Anything growing from the root stock could overcome your graft, and you don't want that. So we want to make sure nothing is growing from the root stock, once again. Uh, root stock, stuff growing from the root stock normally will come up through the shank, and you just knock it off with your thumb. But this right here was a grafted root sucker. And one of the things that I noticed around it, there's a couple of root suckers that come up from the ground level. And what I'm going to do is, is get down below ground level and snip that off. It's a little sucker that came up. And you can see where I got down to that lateral root that fed the parent that was feeding from the parent tree. We have another one right here. Get rid of it. and just clean it up. A little bitty one right there. Eventually it'll get to a point to where those won't come up because all the energy is going to go up through this stock and feed this scion like it is right here. We just don't want that to continue to grow. What do we got going on right here? Take a look at this. The 
spider's egg had hatched out. Spider laid an egg up in there, a, uh, a sack, and man, there's hundreds of spiders in there. See that? Bunch of baby spiders. You know, something I'm going to do is I don't like seeing that because that web is pulling the leaf. I'm going to cut this leaf and this leaf. Get rid of that. That's a lot of spiders. Let me move in closer and show you. They look like little tiny wolf spiders, I don't know. But we're going to get rid of that. Wow. And ooh, a little lightning bug. Anyways, this is something that I wanted to share with you about taking care of these trees. I got another one right there. It uh, it has one root sucker coming up around it, and this one right here, by the way, is a grafted Jerry's Big Girl. That one over there is a grafted uh, wall bash. Then I have an IXL over there. There's nothing growing around it, and I have uh, Benny's favorite back that way. Nothing growing around it, but they're all grafted root suckers. I've had seedlings. I have a uh, Quaker's Delight back there. It had a couple root suckers around it, and it was a grafted seedling. So your seedlings will also grow root suckers. You just got to get in there and get rid of them. You don't want them to grow because they'll overcome the work that you've done. And I'm going to put this right back on here. And I put these little tubes on here. It also, the tubes aid a little bit and keeping voles off of those trees. The voles get down in that bottom there and start chewing on that bark. And this kind of aids in preventing a little bit of that from happening. So, let me get this fence back on here and then I'm going to move on to the next tree. This is just something that I want to share with you. If you're going to graft your trees, uh, I encourage it because it's a good way to get good cultivars into your garden. But don't forget, you have to take care of them. No time at all. Well, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.